so parameters allows constants like word length to be defined symbolically in one place for example in our very log sdl code if we have to use a same constant value, value multiple times that constant value we can define using a parameter and then we can use that parameter at all the places so in future also if that constant value is going to be changed we just have to change the parameter value and it will be reflected at all the places in the design so there are three ways to declare a parameter we can declare a single parameter using the parameter keyword so this is a par1 parameter it is a parameter and its value is nothing but value 1 if you have to declare multiple parameters we can use a single parameter keyword and we can write like this so here the pair 2 is the first parameter its value 2 and then using the comma we can declare the parameter 3 which is has value 3 and like this we can declare as many parameters as we want now suppose if the parameter is in bit format so we can also declare the parameter in a bit format where we have a parameter variable which is param 4 and suppose it is a 3 bit value then it we, we can have to down to 0 and its type is parameter and the value is value 4 that can be 3 tick b 0 0 0 for example so these are the three ways to declare a parameter for example here you see the number of bits so number of bits is nothing but 8 here the parameter now we are declaring multiple parameters so here the parameter add which has a value 2 tick b 0 0 then we have a subtract which has a value 2 tick b 0 1 and then we have a semicolon here so this line will show that there are two parameters which is add and subtract and then we can also declare a parameter in a bit format when the last state is nothing but a 3 bit variable a 3 bit parameter not a variable it is not a variable it is a parameter which has the fixed constant value so it is a 3 bit constant value and the constant value is nothing but 3 tick b 1 1 1. So if there is a constant which is repeatedly used many places in a design that constant basically we can replace with the parameter value and we can define the parameter value at a single place. So in future also if we have to change that constant value we don't have to go and change at every places we can just change the parameter value and it will be reflected everywhere.